Hello friends, welcome back. Then let's talk about the built-in commands, and uh, I will also show you some practical uh, to set uh, to create the site and then installing the site from the right from the terminal, not touching the browser as well. So first, we will talk about the WP Core. So WP Core uh, command you can use to download, install the WordPress, and manage the WordPress installation as well. For example, just write uh, execute the WP Core download. It will download the WordPress, the latest version WordPress. So if you want to download any specific version, then you, you just need to pass some pa uh, parameters like hyphen hyphen version and just mentioning of the version name. And it will download the uh, uh, WordPress core installation files into your like folder wherever you have run this command. So we don't need to go to the WordPress.org and click on the download WordPress and it will like download the zip files and then you extract and keep it on a folder or, or in your install, uh, site installment. The next is the WP config. So when we install the uh, uh, when we install the WordPress from the browser, uh, uh, the the WordPress installer will ask for some of the details like uh, the database details, your username details, right? From the browser, and it's like a famous file installation method for the WordPress. But from the CLI, you can do this with the less than a five minutes. And I will. So uh, how we can do you uh, use this? So just we need to create a config file. Just run this command wp config create, and it will ask some uh, parameters. You need to just pass a database uh, uh, data uh, database name, and then user and password and the uh, uh, server name, and then the, you can just create the wp config. And then another command is a wp scaffold. So scaffold command is for uh, generating the post types. You can also uh, generate a taxonomy code. So every time we, like. As a plugin and theme developer, we usually uh, register the post type and we need to copy paste some of the code, like right, register post type function and their arguments. We need to keep it handy. It's like large amount of code. Then same, we can create using the WP scaffold. So for example, let's say if I want to develop the theme based on the underscore S, I will just run this command WP scaffold underscore S and then just pass the theme name, sample theme, and it will down, it will create your theme based on the underscore S uh, framework. So you don't need to go to the uh, visit underscore S side and just adding the, your theme details and it will give you the zip file, right? Right from the terminal, you can create your theme based on the underscore S. So it's easy way to whenever you want to uh, develop the uh, develop the theme, new theme from the scratch, just use this command. Another is the WPDB. So to perform any basic uh, database operations, uh, uh, which are uh, using the credentials stored in the config file. So basically, we use many tools like uh, SQL Pro or, or the PHP My Admin from the browser or, or any other tools you may use for accessing the database uh, to check your database tables, uh, performing some meta query or the post query. Same thing, uh, the exec, uh, your MySQL query, you can run using this command. Simple command is WPDB query and then just pass your or the query select star from WP post or select star from WP users and it will show you the results based on your query. So right from the terminal, you can execute, you can interact with the database as well so that you don't need to switch over to the browser or any other to write from the, like nowadays many developers use, um, many developers use the uh, terminal within the ID, like I'm using the VS code and in the VS code, I, I'm using the terminal from that. So for some checking, like during the development, if I want to see some database de uh, details or entries, whether it's working fine or not something, then I can just run this uh, using this command. I can just uh, fire the query, execute the query and see the results without switching over to the uh, browser. Another uh, command is WP search and replace. So many times we do the search and replace. Maybe as a freelance or maybe as a, a, a you may came to across that you have the production data and now you have the sitting site data, right? And then you need to do the search and replace the domain name as well. Wherever you find like example.com to example.taste for your local development environment. Uh, so same, sometimes uh, developers do from the uh, using the tools like PHP, My Admin, SQL Pro, any other tools. But using this command, you can do the same thing: the search and replace into your database using this command. So you just need to pass WP search and replace and foo and bar. This command will replace the foo with the bar. So here, instead of the foo, you can uh, you can pass your production domain which you want to replace with your a staging domain or, or or your local site domain right for anything not just about the domain but any value you want to do the search and replace in the database you can use this command 
and a third one is the wp package so uh, uh, in a wordpress in a wp cli many uh, custom command apart from the built in command many custom commands have developed by many developers uh, and organizations you can you, you can install that command uh, using this wp package and then you can just need to run wp package install and then just pass the package name and you can also list all of the packages available for the wp cli so uh, using this command you can also use the any other third party or or third uh, party development uh, like who developed the custom commands you can use and we will i will show you some custom commands like profile and doctor command in in, uh, in this session next so let's uh, uh, now i mostly i'm talk about the theoretical now let's see some practical how to de download the wordpress install the wordpress and uh, create your theme and many things right so let me just switch over to the terminal i hope i have keep it a very, very big uh, fonts uh, and i hope it's visible so let me so currently uh, you can see this directory is empty and uh, in my uh, laptop i am using the laravel wallet and here i have created one folder is wp couchcon and same folder name will be my uh, localhost domain okay so um, here is uh, i hope abhishek you say show me the terminal i hope terminal is visible okay so i am just running the wp core uh, download here it's downloading the wordpress now since i have like many i have installed many uh, sites uh, before this uh, session uh, it's getting the my zip file from the cache version so from this part it's just getting the uh, uh, zip file from there and now you can see the ls all of my uh, wp cli uh, sorry wordpress core base is there now uh, we will run the wp config and uh, let's say there are many uh, arguments are there but Generally, as a developer, sometimes we don't remember what exactly the arguments we need to pass when we create a config file or for any other commands. Then there is the global parameter called prom. So I will talk about this parameter uh, next, uh, but uh, this is the prom parameter. So uh, uh, the WP CLI will prompt you to input uh, input the values for each and every parameter. So let's see how what are, what parameters we need to add. So here is the WP couch. Uh, first is the W. Uh, the database name then i have already created a database so initially you cannot create a database using the wordpress uh, one, uh before the uh, wordpress you install so i have cre uh, created only the database and uh, wp couchcon uh, which i have created already so i am using that uh, then user is the root as right uh, localhost uh, then the prefix i want to keep the default so i will not add any value and just click enter character set i want to keep the default locate call it also i want to keep the default local like basically the uh, local means uh, if you want to set up your site in a gujarati language or on, on a hindi language then just pass that uh, language code here and it will uh, also download the translations files of the gujarati language or hindi language or whatever local you have passed here but i will keep the default is english extra php i don't want to add any extra php like defining the constant if you want to add any then just uh, add it here but i will keep uh, i will not add right now and skip a source we cannot skip the source because we need uh, for creating and for the password mechanisms and cookies so we will not skip so by default it will not skip and then skip a check i don't want to that force yeah, like force means if already config is created and you want to to override that config file with the new config file then just pass yes else just empty and it's created a config file simply so uh, in a browser you can see here uh, the wp config file have been created whatever the details i have passed here all of these details have been there so your wp config file have been created right uh, now let's install this it's now time to install i will just re uh, run the command wp code, code install and hyphen hyphen prompt so it will prompt me for the uh, values uh, arguments so first is the url i will keep it like it's a local so i will keep http uh, wp couch uh, con dot test i hope the spelling is not wrong wp couch con uh, sorry test okay the title will i will keep the uh, wp couch con the admin user always we use admin admin no doubt for that admin at gmail.com uh skip email yep i want to uh, don't want to add the uh, uh, send the email so i will skip it uh, so i will just pass the year and yep our wordpress installed now let's see whether it's installed or not so in a browser 
I will just WP coach count dot test. Okay. Uh, maybe I have made a mistake. W. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's a spanning mistake. Yeah. Our site is ready for development. It is, isn't it like like super fast within a less than a five minutes, right? Yeah. So yeah, it's a good. It's really good. Now we want to add the team. So and uh, now before that. Uh, the WP help command, uh, it will list you, uh, it will show all of the commands available and what it's exactly do. So you can find out list of the commands, the default uh, commands as well as doctor and uh, some of the profile command is the custom command. I have already installed for our, uh, our session, but you can find many commands you can hear. And same, many things you can do, many things like transient. You cannot, you can, uh, in the WordPress admin, you don't have the way to, uh, to delete a transient, but using this command WP transient command, you can delete all of the transient from the options table. And it's very easy if you want to. But transient API we use for caching our data, right? From like when we want to save any same data, like when we work executing or working with a third party uh, third party API calls or something. So many things you, you can you can create your users as well. We don't need to ask about like creating the user, uh, asking your client to hey, add me. If you have server access, WP cell is installed, create your user on your way. You don't need to ask your client or maybe any your team members to create the users for you. You can do from this. Now we want, I will show about the WP scaffold command, right? So let me just uh, uh, WP help, uh, you can see and the scaffold. I hope there is no spelling mistake. Yeah, I have made a spelling mistake. I'm very bad at it, spelling. Yeah, let me just copy paste. WP help, scaffold. Now it will show me the help uh, help, uh, help manual about the WP scaffold. So this is the command you have. So you can create a block as well. You can generate, uh, you can create a plugin for to develop the block as well for Gutenberg edit or block editor. You can create the child theme, plugin, plugin test, post type, taxonomy, right? The underscore as, right? So here we will simply, I will just copy paste this. Uh, the, uh, this one, this command, and let's just and pass the iPhone iPhone from. So let's create a uh, the theme for the WP CouchCon. So I will just add the WP CouchCon as a theme slug uh, WP CouchCon. Then active. Yeah, uh, if you want to uh, create uh, uh, creating the theme, but you, you also want to keep activate, then you can pass either yes or no. But I want want to activate right now so i will keep it no uh, enable the network uh, so enable network means uh, if you have the multi site environment so in a multi site environment you need to if you want to use this theme to uh, to other uh, in all the sub sites then you need to enable the network but currently i have the single site setup so i will say no then theme name i will add uh, wp couch uh, con the author let's say wp couch theme WP Couch Contain. Author URI, I will add the SDPS and WP Couch Con.com. Okay. There's Sassify. Yeah, we, uh, Sassify is like uh, if you want to uh, download the underscore S theme or create the theme from that uh, based on the Sassify or just like your CSS file, but we need the Sassify. So I will just add yes. WooCommerce support we need. Currently, we don't need no. So, and we we don't have the team any so we will just pass the no here and it will take some time and generate the scaffold command so basically uh yeah it's created now let's in up c browser in the wp content themes here is wp couch con you see with the sassy file the sas files we have now you just need to and with the all the basic theme and if you go to the style.css all of the details here we we have we don't need to visit the browser or the site, just right from the like terminal, you can create the theme. Similarly, you can create the plugin as well, right? And let me just show you, uh, I have already created one plugin for the, for, for the demo, so I will install it. Uh, so let's say I have already keep it a zip file in my downloads folder, so I will keep a plugin uh, install, um, then the path to my plugin. So let's say users, uh, uh, downloads. I already created WP counts the zip file. 
and i also want to when i am installing i also want to activate that plugin at a time in the same command then i will just pass activate hyphen hey, iphone activate so it will install the plugin and then activate that plugin so now it's getting the zip file and then uh, simply uh, yeah my plugin is installed now you can see here wp content plugins here is a wp couch con so same i have created for uh, our demo purpose so here and similarly it's from the zip file but if you want to add a gutenberg plugins let's say a wp plugin install a gutenberg then it will download the latest gutenberg version from the wp.org and it will install and if you just pass activate then it will activate the plugin as well so currently i won't download because i don't have the latest version in my cast version so it will take some time so yeah so i'm not uh, running this command but yes this is the way uh, we can uh, create uh, a user or, or a set up the site from right from the terminal yeah thanks for watching see you on the next one jai wordpress